Hi, uh, my name is Basir. In this chapter, we'll go through introduction of chapter 7, Coordinate Geometry from class 10, Andhra Pradesh and Telangana both syllabus. Uh, in, in your previous class, the 9th standard, you have learned how to fix the position of a point on a graph using two reference lines, x-axis and y-axis. The x-axis is a horizontal line, right? That is your x-axis, which is a horizontal line. And that's your y-axis, which is a vertical line. The x-axis and the y-axis, they intersect at the point, at a point known as origin. And we represent the origin by 0, by O. Now, the points of origin are 0, 0, right? The first coordinate here is x-coordinate and the second coordinate is y-coordinate. This is something that you have already learned in your in your previous class. X coordinate is no, also known as abscissa. A B S C I S S A and Y coordinate is known as ordinate. Right. Now in, in this video we'll learn how to find out the distance between two given points. Now you see that in, in the first graph here, in this in this first graph, we have two points A and B. The point A is 2, 0. The point B is 6, 0. And both the points are located on, are plotted on the x-axis. So you have to understand if the value of y is 0, the point will be on the x-axis. Because on x-axis, the value of y is 0. Similarly, you see that the point B, for the point B also, the y coordinate is 0. So if the point if y coordinate is 0, the point is on the x axis. What can you tell me about the distance between A and B? What is the distance between point A and point B? It's quite simple. You can understand here how many units away is point A from point B? 1 unit, 2 unit, 3 units, 4 units. So, so the distance between A and B is 4 units, right? How far is point, or what, what's the distance between A and B? The distance between A and B is 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 units away. So the distance between A and B is 4 units. H how can you get it in an easier form? 6 minus 2 is 4. 6 minus 2 is 4. What do you realize here? I can, I can write down the points here on, uh, here, uh, Points for A is X as X1, Y1 and the point for coordinate for B is X2, Y2. So what is really happening here? X2 which is 6, X1 which is 2, X2 minus X1 is giving me the distance here. Right, X2 minus X1 is giving me the distance here when the two points are located on the X axis. Let's see what really happens. How, how do we find out the uh, distance between two points if the points are located on y axis? You see here on, on my uh, on the right hand side, we have the second graph. Uh, again, two points are plotted here. A point A 0 comma 2 and the point B 0 comma 7. Both of these points, what do you observe? What, what do they have in common? Both of the points are plotted on y axis. That's one thing. And the second thing that you observe here is the x coordinate is 0 for point A and the x coordinate is 0 for the point B. So you have to understand on y axis x coordinate is 0. Similarly, uh, ju just as same as x axis on x axis y is 0 on y axis x is 0. What can you tell me about the distance between A and B? What is the distance between A and B? Let's find out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the distance between A and B is 5 units. You can do it this way. 7 minus 2. 7 minus 2 is how much? 5. Let's say this is x1, y1. Let us say this is x2, y2. Then what is really happening? y2 is 7, y1 is 2. So the distance actually is y2 minus y1. So the distance between 
the points on y axis is mod of y2 minus y1 we write down mod here this is known as mod this symbol is known as mod or it is also known as you know modulus in short we write uh, we read it as mod uh, but uh, you know the lengthy form of it is modulus we write we write down modulus because we want to find out the absolute value y because the distance between two points cannot be negative right let's say if i take y2 as 4 and y1 as 6 for an example 4 minus 6 is minus 2 what is the absolute value of minus 2 it is plus 2 we take mod so that we can find out the absolute value why because distance cannot be negative so we saw how we find out uh, the distance between two points if they are located on x-axis and how to find out distance between two points if they are located on y-axis. Let's see, we have two points which are not located on x-axis and y-axis. Let's say we have two points located here, just like this. Let's say we have this point here, this point. What is the point here? Uh, what, what, how do you uh, read this point? X axis 2 units, Y axis 4 units. So this point here, this point, let me represent it by the letter C. This point C is 2 comma 4. This point is 2 comma 4, right? So, so the, uh, the first point here, you read it, at, this is X coordinate and this is Y coordinate, right? So what's the X coordinate here? Just go here and read it. 2 the x coordinate is 2 and what is the y coordinate here the y coordinate is 4 so what what how do you read this point this point c is 2 comma 4 right the point c is 2 comma 4 in the same way um, how do you read this point the point d x axis is 6 y axis it is 4 so this point we can read it as 6 comma 4 right so this is 2 comma 4 c point and then we have one more point d which is 6 comma 4 how do you find out the distance between c and d what is the distance between c and d see the distance between c and d is simple 1 2 3 4 let me do it once again here See here, this is 1 unit, 2 units, 3 units, 4 units. So, the distance between C and D is 4 units. See, this is very similar to this one. If I draw a perpendicular, if I draw a perpendicular from C, it looks something like this. Let me draw a perpendicular from D. It looks something like this, right? I have drawn perpendicular from C and the perpendicular from D perpendicular to x axis what what do you see here this distance between c and d the distance between c and d is similar to distance between a and b what is the distance between a and b we have already calculated 6 minus 2 is 4 distance between a and b is 6 minus 2 which is 4 we saw that when two points are located on x axis the distance between them is modulus of x2 minus x1 right because this is x1 y1 and this point let me represent it as x2 y2 so what is really happening 6 minus 2 is 4 6 is x2 2 is x1 so x2 minus x1 that gives you the distance between two points when they are located on x axis now this distance c between cd is similar to this is similar to the distance between a and b points right so you have to understand when two points when two points are uh, such that the line joining those two points CD the line joining these two points which is CD the line joining between these be, be, the line joining these two points if it is parallel to X axis the distance between those two points would be the difference of their X coordinates let's see if we have two points in, in this manner let us see we let us say we have this point um, this point here let me take a different color okay let's say we have this point here how do you uh, how, how do you read this point for x-axis it is 5 unit 
x axis 5 and then y axis 7 right so you read this point as 5 comma 7 let's say this is my point c and then let us say i have one more point here how do you read it x axis 5 y axis how much 2 so this point is 5 comma 2 what is the distance between c and d it is same like distance between b and a how if i draw a vertical from point c to y if i draw a perpendicular from point c to y axis and let's say if i draw a perpendicular from point d also to the y axis what does it look like it looks like the distance th this distance cd it looks like this distance cd is same like this distance bd doesn't it look like that yeah it looks like that it looks like the distance cd is same like the distance ba so you have to understand that when two points when the line joining the two points this is the line joining two points this one is the line joining c and d when the line line joining uh, two two points is parallel to y axis then the distance between them is difference of their y axis is the distance between them is difference of their y axis uh, sorry y coordinates the distance is difference of y coordinates so 7 minus 2 is 4 sorry 5 <laughs> it looks like something is wrong with me 7 minus 2 is 5 so the distance between c and d is 5 units now we'll see uh, this situation here we have two points here one is on the x-axis and the other is on the y-axis the point a 4 comma 0 is on x-axis on x-axis as usual you understand that on x-axis y coordinate is 0 isn't it on x-axis this y coordinate is 0 on y-axis x coordinate is 0 right so the point a is on x axis and point b is on y axis what can you tell me about the distance with distance between point a and point b point a is located on x axis point b is on y axis what can i do is i can simply do something like this this is uh just see this one here doesn't it look like a right angle triangle doesn't this look like a right angle triangle and what do I have to find out I have to find out the distance between a and b I'm representing a d um, by green color here what can you say me about this distance what can you say me about this distance that is this distance is nothing but four right one two three four right so that this distance the base of the triangle this this becomes a right angle triangle right because because you have a 90 degree angle here this looks like a this looks like a right angle triangle to me now the base is four units and what is the height the height is one two three three units the height is three units and this slant line that you see here it looks like a hypotenuse a b it looks like a hypotenuse let us use pythagoras theorem what is pythagoras theorem hypotenuse square is sum of squares of the other two sides what are the other two sides o b and o a are the other two sides so what should be a b a b square should be o b value of o b is 3 so this is 3 square plus value of OA is 4 AB square is 3 square is 9 4 square is 16 so AB square would be 9 plus 16 is how much 25 AB is square root of 25 if I remove square on the left from the left hand side I'll have to keep a square root on the right hand side right and the square root of 25 is 5 now I have two points A and B here. The point A is x1, y1 and the point B is 
x2, y2. The point A is x1, y1 and this point B is x2, y2. We want to derive the formula for finding the distance between these two points. How do you derive the formula for finding distance between these two points? It's quite simple. We have, let, let's say, I draw a perpendicular to the x-axis. From point A, I'm drawing a perpendicular to x-axis. And from point B also, I'm drawing a perpendicular to x-axis. Right. We have seen that the distance between, let's say I draw a line here like this, AC, and then I draw a line BC here. The distance between AC is as same as distance between PQ. We have, we have already learned it. The distance between AC, this distance, because AC is parallel to x-axis, right? If a line is parallel to x-axis, the distance between uh, the distance between uh, two points, if a line is parallel to x-axis, the distance between the points should be the difference of x-coordinates. What are x-coordinates here? x2 and x1. So this distance that you see here, AC, this distance that you see here, AC, should be nothing but x2 minus x1, right? Should be nothing but x this distance AC should be nothing but x2 minus x1. And what can you tell me about the distance distance BC? The line BC is parallel to y-axis. And we have already learned that if a line is parallel to y-axis, the distance between the two points, the distance between the two points will, will, will obviously be the difference of y coordinates. What are the y coordinates here? y2 and y1. So what would be the difference here? y2 minus y1. Okay, so we have we have got this far now. Uh, the distance between the points, the distance AC is x2 minus x1 and the distance BC is y2 minus y1. But what we really need to do, we actually are supposed to find out the distance AB, right? Now, ABC it looks like it is a right angle triangle. So I can very well apply the Pythagoras theorem, right? I can very well apply the Pythagoras theorem here. What is the Pythagoras theorem? Pythagoras theorem is square of the hypotenuse is sum of squares of the other two sides. What are the other two sides? AB is the hypotenuse here. Why is AB the hypotenuse? Why not AC? See, the right angle here is this one. Angle C is the right angle. And what is the side opposite to right angle? The side opposite to right angle is AB. So AB is the hypotenuse. It is the longest side in a right angle triangle. <clears throat> so hypotenuse square is sum of squares of the other two sides. What are the other two sides? AC and BC. So AC, we know that AC is x2 minus x1. Whole square I'm writing as it is. What is BC here? BC is y2 minus y1. So I'm writing y2 minus y1 and then square as it is. What should be AB here? AB square is x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. So what should be AB? If I remove square from the left hand side, I'll have to keep a square root on the right hand side. Square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. So in general, the distance between any two points the formula to find out the distance between any two points is this one x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. This is all that you had to know to start working on exercise 1 problems. The rest of the problems from this chapter will soon be available on our website, which is basiracademy.com. The seeracademy.com and if you need any help I believe the best way to reach me is uh, is to log on to the seeracademy.com website and uh, use the live chat feature to interact with me I'll see you in the next video until then goodbye